We are now going to create a 30 by 49 millimeter pendant with Roland Metas Studio. First thing we need to do is set up the printable area for our project. To do so, we're going to launch Metas Studio. Once we launch Metas Studio, we'll now click on the Material tab. Once the Material tab is open, we're going to import a template by clicking on Add Material. We are going to add from File. We'll then navigate to the MPX series templates that we download from the Roland support site. In the list of templates, we're going to select the template that matches our material and select Open. We'll then uncheck Keep Aspect and manually input the width and the height of our pendant and click OK. This will add it to the material group. We can now rename it with the size of our pendant. We'll then double click it and insert the material. Ensure the size is correct and click OK. Our screen will now show the template. Next, we'll import our image data to the pendant. To do this, we'll select Import and select the image we would like to use and click Open. The image will automatically fit to the pendant area. We can trim the image using the Trim function and we can adjust the image to our liking. Now, to remove the background data, we'll use the cropping function. To crop the image, we'll select it and select Crop Image from the Object menu. In the Crop menu, select the Pen tool and set the pen diameter and now we will outline the image area you want to crop. Once we've outlined our image, we will now select the fill increase the color for the fill and click on the screen to remove the background. We can then set a borderline to give the image a contrasting look. And then click OK. At this point, we can go back and trim the image to our liking.
Next, we're going to add text. To do this, we select the draw text icon and click anywhere on the screen and type out the desired text. Once the text is typed out, we can select it and reposition and resize if necessary. To adjust the text, we can right click on it and click properties. Under the format tab, we can adjust the font, font height, font width, alignment as far as justification. If you're using script, you can merge overlapping text, align with the curve, and adjust the boldness of our text. And click OK. Under fill and contour, you can specify the look of the text. There are four modes that you can select from. First is simple contour, which will give you an engraving outline. Second is a raster fill with the contour outline. Next mode is an engraving fill with contour outline. This simulates diamond scribe engraving. We will use a raster fill with a vector outline for our project. Now we will add a vector outline to our image. To do this, we will select the box tool and outline the image to create a frame. This frame will engrave in vector mode. <laughs> Next, we will preview our image and output the file to our MPX80. To do this, we click on the print preview. In the print preview window, we can adjust the brightness, contrast, and gamma of our image, which shows us a WYSIWYG preview. Once we have the file adjusted to our liking, we can also adjust our preview color to simulate the material we're printing on. We can select either gold for gold plated or gold material or silver for silver or silver plated materials. We can also specify a custom color. Once done, we will click on print to bring up our print properties. At this point we click on properties and ensure that the image correction and the material is set to the proper material type as well as our resolution. We'll then click OK and then click OK to out. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us today.